Good morning, guys. It is what's that, my bro? Which can only mean one thing. It's time for another bro trip. We are absolutely freezing our taters off, as um, it's definitely got colder overnight than it has been lately. Almost had to defrost the car. That's how bad it was. But um, we're off to Birmingham. Get some houses for Swindon. So let's get bro trip on the go, shall we? Are you gonna say anything? No. No, it's too early to talk. This awesome Scania V8 here. Got all his twinklies on. Can't quite see who he is. It's a V8 580. Beautiful. Alright, well, an hour and a half later, and we are coming out of there now. It's a bit of a game miss moving the trailers around so I could get mine out and then. It's a bit of a higgledy-piggledy load as well. So I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on her. We've got, um, we've got two of the rolls of felt that we gotta watch. And also the stacks don't look the best made. But nonetheless, we're now on the way down. Bumbaleo! Bumbaleo! Look at that. It's just like we're going into a... <coughs> <coughs> it's like an apocalypse. Hold on. Zombie apocalypse. I'd love to be in a zombie apocalypse, I would. Well, you can't eat that for breakfast, can you? Ah! Good thing about having my bro with me is we get mom's pat lunches. Yes! Four zipper bag. Get out my mirror. Four zipper bag. You haven't got to zip it. <laughs> So you're just gonna just help yourself. You're gonna give offer me anything for breakfast. <laughs> Get out! Get out of here! Oh. <coughs> Even this tipper driver's looking over at you. He's absolutely fine. Psych! Alright, well, going down to Swindon. Now we're going to be taking the Birdly Pill or the Hot Air Balloon Island, whatever you want to call it. And the load's quite heavy, I don't know if you can see it in the mirror there, but it's a fairly big load. So we might have a bit of a struggle getting up there and already at the bottom of the hill. Ah, oh, never mind. We are definitely going to struggle now because summit's going on. Ah, oh, there's a broken down. There's a van and a trailer there that have broken down and everyone's having to overtake it. Coming onto our side of the road, so that's slowed everyone right down. Alright, well, hopefully now my brother's here, you might be able to see a bit better how steep the hill is, actually is. You can never really tell on the video, I guess. But, um, I don't know, you might be able to get a better angle of it. But we're just getting up to the top now, we've ended up having to stay behind the tanker. Just because we have got them super wide bearers on. It'll open up at the top though, and we should get him past him there. Alright, so yesterday morning, 
we went inside Barry at first thing, but today it's kind of we've been up a few hours before we're entering St Andrew's Ridge. St Andrew's Ridge. Yes. All right, so far so good. Just being unloaded now. Was he's catching up with some Z's? He's a tired, he's a he's a tired little boy, you know. But uh, just two more stacks to go, and then maybe we'll be going for a coil, I'll assume. That is the face of revenge. He's now finding out CJC can retaliate when provoked with wind. All right, guys. Now we tipped Swindon, dropped off all the houses. So where are we going now, bro? Uh, we are going back up uh, towards Kidderminster, where we shall be getting some bricks for Birmingham. Bricks for Birmingham. All right. So fortunately, I've worked out and added stretch and services to our stop on the way up. Um, Within our six hours we managed to get down and back up to Strentham Services. We should be getting there about half past 10, 25 to 11. So we started at five o'clock. So our working time directive means we need a 15 minute break before we get to 11 o'clock. But we're gonna be stopping around about half 10 and having a 45 minutes to clear our drive time as well. So yes, it's working out pretty good so far today. <laughs> just hold it, will ya? No, destroy it. He's trying to show me how he can handle his liquids. Oh, hold it. Hold it then. No. Just do it. Just try and hold it with one hand. Hold it with one hand, it's <laughs> Don't drop the liquids. Remember, Matt isn't, Matt isn't immune to water anymore. Just, just hold it. Try and hold it with Get one your hand. hat off inside. Just try and hold it with one hand. <laughs> no. You ain't got massive hands on that. No, keep moving it <laughs> Yes. There you go. Algoa. Aloga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. No. Believe in. <laughs> what happened? Just realised, sorry I never got to show you that load. I totally forgot about that one earlier. So, the houses I was on about earlier. Apologies for that. We've now got 27 stacks of bricks. Well, we had to phone the gods up before we left, and um, they reminded us that we got to tip half of these bricks off. In um, we'll just guess where you're going, shall we, Saab? Um, we're tipping half of these bricks off in Tipton first, and there's some right lemmings around this area, I tell you. Hopefully, we can get gone out of here soon. Come on, please. So, there's a chance. We'll tip all the bricks off in Tipton, but I very much doubt it. So it looks like we'll be going there and then on to Birmingham to tip the rest. Guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but the rain is tipping it down so bad. And my brother went out to get registered in, to, so they know he's here. And obviously, when he went, it was sunny, but now it's tipping it down. So I'm just going to be waiting for him until he comes so I can get it on camera for you guys so he comes back all soaked but guys it's mad I just saw some guy come past on his bike rest in peace sweet oh for god <laughs> what in god's name was that it was sunny when I went out it's sunny again now 
Well, now sooner I'd have stepped out the cab, it stopped raining. So Mother Nature's really got the best of me today. My coat didn't even get wet after I'd put it on. So, one nil to Mother Nature. We have only got to take off 12 stacks here. But first we need to turn around in that small little industrial estate there because there's a wheat bridge here. I only turned down it because I could see the gate to enter the place. So, yes. We're going to be sat here a while waiting because there's two lorries in there. So let's go get turned around. Righty ho, so we've delivered part of the load now to Tipton. Um, We've had word that they're gonna tip us straight away once we get to the place in Birmingham. So, we're on our way to Birmingham. <laughs> we just got the other 15 packs to take to them there. All right, well, they was true to their word. These pallets have come off quicker than my beard did when my uh, deer had the scissors in her own. We'll be out of here in no time. And then we're just going back to the yard, Mr. Wazza Games. Um, no night out for us today. Unfortunately, tomorrow, though, it's looking like we might be in for a Friday night out. We'll be going up to Durham with some of those uh, metal fence panel kind of, uh, room panel kind of things, the fabricated metal work. You'll see them tomorrow. Late start, very late finish, so it might come out on Saturday, most likely. Anyway, it's just going to be back to the yard from here in. So I want to thank you all for watching. Sorry, it hasn't been quite as an event on as last time. There was no massive liquid incident or anything like that. But what can you do, eh? I guess the liquids are on their best behaviour today. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all next time, guys. All right, well, here's a bit of a sneak peek for tomorrow's load. It's not much, but I'm going to get it all strapped up now so it's ready to rock and roll first thing tomorrow. It won't be starting until about half nine or something because it ain't going to be there for 2pm. So like I say, we might be stuck out or back very, very late on Friday night. <laughs>